If you don't believe the story we're going to tell you, don't come crying around and say we didn't warn you. Better listen to Living Credit on Theater 5. Chief Credit Supervisor of the City Central Record Bureau. I suppose I'm the most important man in town. More important than the mayor or the city manager. No one can get along without credit. Your parents have a child account permitted you to be born. And your children's budget burial account will allow you to die with dignity. And in between times, credit will keep you alive and happy credit, and the records which help us decide whether to grant or withhold it. You know, there are times when I think that a man's records are more real than he is. Lose a person, and the records will help you find him. But lose the records, and what do you have? Absolutely exhausting. What I could use right now is a beautiful cold drink served up in a clear glass with plenty of ice cubes. Oh. What's this? I'm afraid it's the refrigerator. No ice. Oh, boy. Just what I needed. What's happened? Well, how should I know? The ice maker doesn't work. Well, why didn't you call the repairman? I did. Do you think my day was so wonderful? There was that darn refrigerator and waiting for the repairman. And then Nancy overdrew her kindergarten easy credit. And Billy's teacher called to say he hadn't done his homework. Well, you ought to stay around here. You'd really be exhausted. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I shouldn't have shouted. But what did the man say? Well, what would you think he'd say? We need a whole new machine. Uh, I suppose we'll just have to buy one. I know I can't face too many more days without a cold drink. Uh, what's the state of our credit accounts? In just a second, I'll see. Yeah, here we are. Well, we used the add-on mortgage for your workshop last winter. Mm-hmm. And the take-your-time was used for Nancy's dancing lessons. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, how about stretch it out? We've hardly touched that one at all. Well, it's a easier, just as long as we get that refrigerator. Now, you say that this is your best model. I mean, the ice maker. The ice maker especially. I don't want any trouble with it. I can assure you it's reliable. You're positive? I don't know of a single complaint. Well, in that case, I'll take it. Oh, you won't be sorry. Now, if you'll let me write up the order, uh, Miss, uh, Mrs. It's uh, Mrs. Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Marvin Crowell. Ah, uh, and which credit plan did you say you prefer? Uh, stretch it out. My husband and I decided last night. Oh, here it is. Here's the charge card. Oh, thank you. Uh, good. Now, just sign here. Mm-hmm. And when will it be delivered? In a few days. We'll rush your application to City Central Credit today. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Crow. Well, aren't you going to ask me? What? Well, you've been home almost an hour, and you haven't asked me what happened at the store. (laughs) I was waiting for you to tell me. What did happen? I got it. A real beauty. And the man told me that the ice maker's as perfect as it can be. No more warm drinks. Not unless we want them warm. But when will it be here? In less than a week. As soon as they check our credit record. Approved. 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 Disapproved. Approved. This. Um, what do I stamp on this one? Help? <laughs> or maybe calamity? <laughs> He's already used up three times his total credit quota? No, that's impossible. Someone would have caught it. Well, here's a nice stamp I haven't used in a long time. Hold for further action. I'll just ship this problem upstairs. Dear 
dear Mr. Buchanan, just wait until you meet the Crow family. And that is that. Now, approve. the store today. It's been six whole days since I placed that order. Well, I thought they said it would take a week. Oh, well, they said within a week, dear. That usually means five days. So I decided to call them and see if anything has gone wrong with our credit application. Had anything? No. No, in fact, they said my application had gone to City Central on the day my order was placed. It was marked rush, too. Uh, you see? Yeah, well, I hope nothing's happened to it in the record bureau. Oh, oh no, darling. You know nothing can go wrong there. Yes, sir, Mr. Granville. Yes, sir, I'll handle it just that way. May. May! Where the devil is that girl? She leaves a bunch of files on that desk and then rushes off, and I... I, I've got to talk to Mr. Granville about finding a new secretary. Let me give someone else a headache for a change. Is, yeah, what's this? Hold for further action. Oh, I haven't seen one of those in a... Crowl, Marvin T. and Phyllis L. Optimum family of two adults and two children. Oh, very good. Total credit used on all accounts equals three times total credit allowable... Oh, not so good. In fact, very bad. Didn't there, May? Yes, Mr. Buchanan. Where have you been? No, 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 no. Never mind telling me. Just get hold of all credit information for Crowell, Marvin T., and family. I want to know what credit account she's been overdrawing on and how much. It looks like somebody's either made a colossal error or Mr. Crowell is one of our master swindlers. No, and, and put this folder in a hold file till the other records are sent through. We'll have to keep the crowds in abeyance for a while. The crowds? Yeah, they're files, of course. <laughs> Although I must say I sometimes agree with Mr. Granville's theory about a person's files being more real than he himself. Um, well, that's all, May. I've had the oddest feeling lately, darling, as though I'm suspended somewhere. Yeah, I, I think I know what you mean. I've had it too. It's, it's almost as if I'm unreal. The world is unreal. I, I don't know which. I wonder what it means. Perhaps it's the weather. Maybe sunspots. Do you think we should see a doctor, dear? No, I think we should. Why don't you call Dr. Saunders tomorrow? Something must be terribly, terribly wrong. children's accounts, Buchanan. I remember there was a case several years ago where a seven-year-old boy ordered a jet plane and hired a pilot on his elementary school training account. Some clown let the request through and it loused up his parents' credit plan for ten years. Are you sure nothing like that happened with the crowds? Oh, absolutely. I checked everything. The only answer is a mistake in the key punch department. The key punch department. That's the only answer? Well, I don't... There see. can be a lot of answers, Buchanan. If we neglected to enter any information or never received it in the first place, the result would be just what we have now. All right, send all that stuff over to me. I'll take it from there myself. Miss Coor, Elizabeth, get the file on a family named Crow, Marvin and Phyllis Crow. Is it time to take those pills that the doctor gave us? Uh, 
nurse pills? Yes. He said there was nothing wrong with it. It's all in our minds, you say. I know. (laughs) Do you want to hear something strange? What? Dr. Saunders. I don't think he's very real either. Is this everything? All the trial records? It's everything that Mr. Buchanan sent. I see. Hmm. Well, it's beginning to look like he was right after all. These people are just not the type to get into trouble. Can you guess how I know that? Through the file records, Mr. Granville. Exactly. I can tell more about a person by leafing through his records than I ever could by talking to him. (laughs) I'm even beginning to feel more at home with records than I do with people. I like them better. They're just as intelligent and they don't answer back. Yes, sir. I suppose you think I'm talking nonsense, don't you? Well, that's your business. But in the meantime, I want you to call the main record section and get all the records they have on the crowds. All the records? Yes, everything. Tell them I want everything. And don't take any hedging around. You see, I think Buchanan's right. But before we accuse Key Punch of making an error, I want to be sure. Then I can sit back and enjoy their squirming. Yes, sir. Anything else? No, just get those files and get them fast. Harry, uh, this is Elizabeth Coor. How's everything in main records? Oh, here? Oh, just dandy. His nibs is in one of his moods. Yeah. Yes, you can do something for me, Harry. Mr. G would like to have everything there is on Crowl, Marvin T., and family. Family master account number 8CDF589031. Do you have that? Yeah, good. Oh, yes, he did say everything, but I don't believe he meant duplicates. Uh, he did say everything, though. <laughs> Listen, I just want you to follow his orders to the letter. Yeah, look, look, just send him everything on the crowds, but I mean everything. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Every piece of paper you can get your hands on. (laughs) I want his desk to be buried in (laughs) crowds. Marvin, why do you keep looking over your shoulder? Oh, it's strange, but with all those other odd things... Yes. I, I didn't want to tell you, but I keep having the feeling that someone's spying on me, observing me. Like... Like a scientist watching you under a microscope? Yes. How do you know? Is it happening to you, too? Yes. Yes, to both of us, like before. And the nerve pills don't help, do they? No, no, not at all. Marvin? Yes, dear? What's happening to all of us? I don't know, dear. I don't know. I can't think. What is all this? It's what you ordered, Mr. Granville. Everything on the Crowell family. With all the triplicates and uh, quadruplicates that Main Records sent out. Triplicates? Quadruplicates? Yes, sir. You did say everything, didn't you? Well, I ordered everything. You ordered... Oh. <laughs> well, I have been driving you pretty hard these last few weeks, haven't I, Elizabeth? Oh, why, well, Mr. Granville, I'm not saying... Uh, you, you don't have to. I know the technique. Follow the boss's orders to the letter and hope that he strangles in them. I've used that trick once or twice myself. And w- what are you going to do? Well, you're too good a secretary to fire... So I guess I'll just have to take you out to lunch. Oh, well, well, well thank you, Miss Grandel, but that's hardly necessary. Uh, just let me go through this mess first and see if I'm not right about key punch. Uh, I'll, I'll get it, I'll get it. Granville here. Ah, yes, Anderson, I was rather expecting to hear from key punch. It's Anderson and key punch. Uh, what's that? You say the Crowell family case has come to your attention. <laughs> He says the Crowell family case has come to his attention. Yes, Anderson, I rather thought it might come to your attention. Yes, I know that something seems to have gone wrong. The question is where? Yes, we have the records. Ah, yes, we have all the records. I told him we have all the records. Yes, we have duplicates, triplicates, quadruplicates, everything. We're thorough here, Anderson. Now, now, Anderson, don't cry. He's crying. 
What's that? Oh, you say the key punch punched an extra hole in the Krell family's master card? Key punch punched an extra hole in the Krell card. No, no. Don't jump, Anderson. He was going to jump out the window. Pull yourself together, old man. There, there. Uh, 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 of course, we'll keep your secret. Uh, now, what are you going to do? I see. Uh, you're going to destroy this master card and then make a corrected card from the records. Well, of course, that's the thing to do. Uh, what are you afraid of? Oh, the evidence. Yes, of course, I understand that you don't ever want anyone to know. But I promise that we won't tell. Remember, we don't ever tell. Uh, why don't you just tear the card up? Or why don't you just burn it? That's what they always do with secret papers. Good. Burn it up and no one will ever be the wiser. Goodbye. <sighs> well, that's that. It's time for us to go to a well-earned lunch, Elizabeth. Shouldn't I send these papers back to the files first? Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry about all those duplicates. You forget uh, it. We'll take care of them when we return. We have to celebrate. I'll uh, meet you at the elevator. All right. I just want to get my back. Oh, darn. Everything's on the floor. It serves me right for pulling a stunt like that. Well, I better leave him there now and run or he'll snap my head off. Thank goodness cleanup doesn't come until five. I feel feverish, Marvin. Oh, so do I. I feel like I'm on fire. Just feel my forehead. I'm burning up. Do I got to loosen this tie? Marvin, look. Huh? Look at the children. Where? Right out the window. They're fanning themselves as if they were hot, too. See, Billy's pulling off his shirt and Nancy's crying. Oh, call him in, honey. I, I don't want us to be apart. I will this minute. Children, Billy, Nancy, come in. Now, that is what I call a pleasant lunch, Betty. We ought to do that more often. Uh, that would be very nice, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Now, to clear up that little matter about the, um, uh, what was the name of that family? Um, I've completely forgotten. Mr. Granville, look, did you see this notice? Mm, what notice, my dear? Well, here on the board. They're adding an extra cleanup detail to this floor. Mm, very commendable. All but I those don't... papers, Mr. Granville, I dropped them on the floor before we left. You mean that whole pile? Yes, I was going to pick them up when we got back with the new cleaning schedule. Oh, no. Not the whole file. Yes. Well, that was every record anybody has of them. They're gone. They've taken them to the incinerator. Murder. It's murder. What? You've murdered them. Oh. They have no more records. They are not real anymore. They don't exist. <laughs> Where are the children? I can't see them anymore. It's so dark. So dark and so warm. Here they are, darling. Let's all join hands so that we can stay together. Oh, yes, yes, that's it. Take my hand. Everybody join? Living Credit, written by Mort Golding and directed by Ted Bell. In the cast, Court Benson, Mary Kay Wells, Cliff Owen, 
Mickey Vola, Robert Dryden, and Evelyn Juster. Audio engineers Bill Sandreuter and Marty Folia. Sound technician Ed Blaney. Script editor Jack C. Wilson. Original music by Alexander Vlastovsenko. Orchestra under the direction of Glenn Osser. <laughs>